What's going on, you guys? Like, you guys to the channel. Show big down back with another one take review. Today we got one for one of my most anticipated shows of the year, and that is Lucifer season five, part one. I want you guys to know this definitely will contain spoilers because I spoilers because I cannot talk about this show without talking about spoilers. So, you want a recommendation as to should you go watch it? I mean, it's Lucifer. If you've been watching for the past four seasons, you definitely gonna want to watch the film. So, <laughs> so yeah. But yeah, it's time to dive into some spoilers. Oh, one well, first one. I, have to, I guess I have to get my overall thoughts on this season. I'm gonna say this. I did love it. I did. Oh, that hurts to say, right? Listen, but check this out though. It's it's a weird thing because I don't think it's necessarily a show. Because I think the show really can't do too much wrong for me because I like the character so much. So and, and like I love a lot of the stuff they did with a lot of the characters. But I think it was more the side characters that really shined for me this season. I think that's probably what, what it was. Lucifer is Lucifer, but his, him and Chloe is will they, won't they, or they are kind of didn't fit. Well, I ain't gonna say didn't fit, just didn't land. Let me tell you what it was for me. The first half, the first part of the season, I would say the first episode or two, I was in it. The middle part to me is what just kind of feel like, okay, I don't feel like anything's really happening. Once Michael left and I'm just like, okay, where's, is, is he going to come back? Is, is he working in the shadows? I know this is kind of like a, hey, detective type thing. And every case that they saw has to do with like what's actually going on with their relationship and everything. But I'm like, usually there's still always that big overwhelming story no not overwhelming but like overall story uh, that through line you know what i'm saying and to me this one didn't have a strong through line but i will say like i said i like the first part first part of it, and i really love that last episode not gonna lie that last episode is some of the best stuff i think i've seen so i kind of gotta give it a pass because like i said i like the first the first part and the last part were both very very strong i just feel like the middle had no texture to it no no flavor no possess like i don't know usually like lucifer charm gonna carry you through it but considering the fact that he's kind of like off his game because he's worried about chloe and like he's just not the the devilish lucifer who's flirting with everybody it's a different lucifer and i think I didn't think about that when like I was going into it. I'm like, he's not gonna be the same one if he's with Chloe. Like the other Lucifer just pretty much did. Well, I ain't gonna say the other Lucifer, but like him in the previous season, he can literally do whatever because he wasn't tied to nobody. This season, like him and Chloe is the thing. But I will say I enjoyed the storyline they had with Ella, like her, like and all the bad boys she's dated, and then I like, just see that's all she attract. Amazing, her mother. They had that one episode where we like the flashback. I'm like, okay, what is this gonna be about? And at first, I didn't like the episode, but I overall, at, at the time, I was like, it gave you some valuable information, and it definitely moves May's character. Where like she just wants a soul. She she kind of realized like maybe just me being this person who just like kind of torments people forever and just like won't murder and destruction and stuff like that. Maybe that's not what I want. Maybe I want to actually die. Cause she saw what happened to her mother, and and that kind of messed with her because she definitely has like those abandonment issues. Because her mother did leave. Her mother chose to go and die rather than you know live with you know in hell with them. So it, it's just like a weird, it's a, it's a weird thing that like that she was dealing with. Dan, on the other hand, kind of felt like he was just kind of in and out, you know. Granted, I have to also realize one thing is that this is the part one of another, like, just like the first half of like a season, basically, you know, which is weird because I'm like, this is something you, you drop all at once. I, or honestly, I would have felt better just waiting till the other half come out, came out and just watching it all then. That way I felt like the story would have been more, more, more tighter. Because wasn't a huge fan of Michael. I don't even know what's his issue. Even though I think uh, I think it's think Tom Ellis kills it. Like I'm just like, well, this is the the way he flips between 
characters is what I want somebody to do when they play Superman, like the way he flipped from like Superman to Clark Kent. Like that's exact because he destroyed that. But it's like the overall, <coughs> excuse me, bigger scheme. And I was just like, what is the 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 scheme that he has planned? We get to the end of the season, it's like they like, stop time. He got a minute there to stop time because he was nervous about his kid. I had to. I'm so sorry. But um, it was weird. A minute there. I don't. I don't know what to say about his character. Either. It's, it's not that nothing bad was with, but like he's more concerned about his son. And I kind of feel like they showed us a lot of it of like him being concerned. But I don't know. It, it's just. I think the part, like I said, that last part where like he like, oh, your son just had a regular cold, and like, oh, my my kid's not special. I think that's what land that that hit harder. You know, I wish that what it was that cold would have happened earlier. You know, and he would have been dealing with that. But like I said, since this is the first part of a season, he'll probably have to deal with that later on. Granted, this whole ending where we get God. Played by, uh, can't think of the guy's name, and my other phone is doing something right now. But uh, the guy got the voice of the State Farm commercial, and he definitely has that voice, okay? And, uh, you get somebody to play God, it's probably going to be either him or Morgan Freeman, okay? Because they just got that voice where you just like, yeah, you sound like what God probably sounds like. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know where it's going. I do love, absolutely love where it ended. It's just that middle part didn't do anything for me it just it was it wasn't like i said it wasn't bad it just it just kind of felt stale you know it just like okay we just getting by because i like these characters and and and, and they can kind of like do no wrong but this overall story you're telling in this middle section is not it's not resonate with me you know what i'm saying but uh yeah those are that's my review for lucifer season five part one you guys let me know what you thought about it down in the comments hit that like button subscribe to my channel thanks for watching the vid hope you guys are staying safe out there i have to actually see when part two is coming out because i personally do not know um i was i when i first saw it on it was eight episodes i was disappointed because usually there's at least ten uh i can say usually because there's only had one season come out on netflix but like still like, i thought it would been like like 10 episodes but even though these episodes were longer though that that, that was a, a benefit but um yeah you guys let me know what you thought uh and i'll catch up with you guys later peace